Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working with tracks in Pro Tools and we're going to learn how to create an aux track, an auxiliary track. We're going to learn how to create it and how to configure it, okay? So here we go. Um, we have a session here that I've created, it's called Tutorial Aux. And I have two guitar tracks, G1 and G2, and currently I go to my mix window, you're going to see that they are routed to the outputs analog 1 and 2. They are panned left and right. Now, when would you use an audio, uh, an aux track here? Well, let's say that you want to bus these two tracks into the same, uh, into, a, into an aux track in order to process the aux track. If you process the aux track, then you'd be processing both of these guitars at the same time using one plugin. Instead of adding, let's say, an equalizer in guitar one and then another one in guitar two, you would just add it uh, into that aux where they are, they've been bust. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to my edit window. Um, and if I go to track, I can go new and then. Once again, one, it's going to be stereo, and it's not going to be an auto track, it's going to be an aux input. And let's call it GTRs, guitars, okay? I'm going to go back to my mix window, and as you can see, I have my guitar one, guitar two, and then I have my guitars aux. Now we're going to bus this guitars one and two into this guitars aux, and we're going to do it by sending the output of guitar one to an available bus, let's say bus 13 and 14, and then the same with guitar 2, we're going to send it to bus 13 and 14, and then the input of the guitar's aux is going to be that same bus, bus 13 and 14. So basically the signal, um, the audio signals are stored here on the audio files, as you can see. Um, they go out bus 13 and 14, and that bus adds them together in our guitar's uh, aux input. So if I press play, you're going to see that the output of these two guitar tracks are coming into this guitar's bus, and the level of this aux can either turn up or down both guitars. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull it down. Pretty obvious. I'm gonna go up. So at this point, they've been bust. You can add plugins um, as your inserts on this aux, and that plugin would be processing both of the guitar one and guitar two signals. This would help you in, let's say, let's say you want to. But let's say you want to save some CPU resources, you could do that too, or you could just do them on guitar one and two. But in general, uh, the cool thing about using an aux is that you have control over every single element that is being sent into that bus um, as a sum. Okay, so that's how auxiliaries work, or aux tracks. I hope this tutorial was very helpful, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.